Hey everyone, this is your girl Kotiri and welcome back. Um, let's go ahead and get into Bia. Now, y'all know, um, like I said, when I've been talking about Nicki Minaj and her lap dogs and the super freaky girl that was on her um, super freaky remix. And I, you know, I've always said that I don't know much about the Bia girl, which I don't. Only thing I got from her on my own is that she beats with Cardi B and that she got smoke and pressure with Cardi B. But I don't know who Bia is as an artist. No shade. Her music does not really come up. It does not come up in my algorithm at all. TikTok, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Facebook, IG. The Bia girl, like I said, I don't even know if she's really current. Do she got music, you know, right now streaming? I'm not even sure. Because like I said, she is never on my radar. Never been on my radar. radar. The only time she comes up is if, you know, she's taking shots at Cardi B or Cardi B taking shots at her. And, you know, people do videos. That's the only time I know of the be a girl who she is. And like I said, you know, she recently, you know, went on stage with, our, with um, I'm sorry, Nicki Minaj with the Super Freaky Girls. But like I said, I don't know who Bia, Bia is. Now, I did, you know, went to her IG, you know what I'm saying, her account, went to her YouTube. You know, I did, you know, listen to some music to kind of try to get familiar with her as a female rap artist. Not my cup of tea. Sorry, but not Sorry. I think the young woman has talent within her own right, but I'm sorry, she she's not toe to toe. She's not on the levels of Cardi B. She's not equally yoke in my opinion um, when it comes out of Cardi B. But I think she's talented in her own right. I don't take that from her because obviously she's irrelevant because she had some type of music that went mainstream. She even got like I said a collab with Nicki Minaj. So you know her song. Might have had been hitting at one point, but like I said, I, I really don't know who this young lady is. Very pretty. Don't take from her. Um, one thing I can say is that she's not a lap dog. Amen. Bia is not a lap dog. Okay. Now, what is really getting on my nerves is that you know what the little back and forth that she's having with Cardi B. You understand? I'm like at this point, both of the girls need to put an ad on it. They need to put an ad on it. I do know that Cardi B, um, enough song, she's, I, I'm gonna, I want to say it's kind of safe to say because I pulled up the lyrics and I'm looking at the lyrics right now. Now that I kind of, you know, did some research on the Be A Girl regarding this whole Cardi B, it's kind of almost safe to say that enough song is kind of really hitting at Be A Fully. I'm going to say that enough song is really hitting at Be A Fully Maybe some shots, maybe a little bit at JT, but I'm going to say the Enough song is really about, and I'll say Akbar too, a little bit about JT and Akbar, but a lot of this song is directed towards Bia. In the comments, you know, the people that ride with me, okay, opinion vlog gang, comment below let me know what y'all um, opinion is and what y'all feel. Y'all can kind of pull up the lyrics and kind of read it, and you can kind of see what she's saying. It, it, you know, when she was saying they were just in my DM. Ain't no trusting these sluts. I do know the beer girl was in her DM because Cardi B, you know, said on the live um, before she had, you know, did the music video to Enough. She gave a snippet of the, you know, Enough song. And so, you know, she did a live with like, you know, these hoes be trying me, playing in my face. You know what I'm saying? Was in my DM showing me love. So I guess that's about to be a girl. Now, I had, you know, pulled up some videos. I like TikTok and IG. And I love to read the comments because the people will kind of give you what you're looking for if you just look at the comments. And so they said that this started way back in 2020. They said that this was not Cardi B's fault as to why Bia don't turn a new leaf and is shading her and now over there at Nicki Minaj camp. They said that Cardi B kind of was showing her love as a new upcoming artist. And she was kind of sharing her music to her Twitters um, and social media platform and support to Bia. Cardi B was doing this for Bia. And all of a sudden, you know, I guess Nicki Minaj probably seen you know, behind the scenes looking, lurking, seeing that Cardi B is, you know what, supporting this new up and coming, you know what I'm saying, female rap artist. So let me go ahead and sabotage this situation and do a quick feature with um, Bia on her song called Whole Lot of Money. So this is what Nicki Minaj did. It was very calculating. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, Nicki Minaj got in Bia's ear and all of a sudden, and I'm not saying that she told Bia to turn on Cardi B, but y'all know how this goes. Once you kind of drink Nicki Minaj nasty, you know, tasteless tea over there, 
you know, the girls get really Delu um, Delulu and Riri and they just started to go against the person that was supporting him. And that was Cardi B. So that's the backstory I got with the big girl. She kind of turned on Cardi B on her own. Cardi B was showing love to her and support as a new up and coming artist. You know, they always say that the rap girls that's been in the industry for a minute don't want to support the new upcoming female rap. But one thing I can say, Cardi B has been supporting a lot of these girls, by the way. Okay, I'm going to put that on record. So B are the one who changed up on Cardi B. And ever since then, she's been moving very, you know, funny and funky. And then I guess taking a little, you know, sly little shade, you know, shots at Cardi B here and there. Because like I said, I've been, you know, seeing, hearing this big girl for some time. But I'm like, who is she? Who is this? Is she like a troll? You know, is she a stain? I thought she was like one of the barbs that was just like fucking with Cardi B. I didn't think that she was a, a female rap artist up until now. You know what I'm saying? But I, I seen people do videos about her, about her shading um, a, a Cardi B. All thought she was an IG model. I didn't know she was a rap artist. Because like I said, I never heard none of her music. But now it makes sense as to why she's been moving funny when it comes down to Cardi B. Because now she don't got that feature with Nicki Minaj. She don't want to piss her off. And she wants to, you know what I'm saying, I guess remain into the Nicki Minaj club. But and so I guess, you know, Cardi B never had a problem with it. It's kind of like, girl... Work with who you want to work with. Just don't shade me. Don't try to, you know what I'm saying, come at me sideways. And it seemed like the big girls kind of start to do that. And Cardi B don't took heed. And I guess with this enough song, like I said, this is kind of like it's fully directed at the beer, but directed at JT, Akbar, all the girls that don't like her. That's, you know, going against her because, you know, she was just saying um, in the very first line, um, me versus you and you know who they picking cheap and expensive you know the difference you know that it's hitting you know that it's given okay so she's saying look i'm not cheap i'm not like be be as cheap you know what i'm saying i had heard from other videos from other bloggers and content creators that be has a cheap looking wardrobe <laughs> you know cheap looking wardrobe you know she don't look you know hollywood she don't look expensive she gives off cheap you want to, I want to say rainbow vibes, fashion Nova vibes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just being funny here. So, you know, yeah. So that's why I was saying that she was just saying that they was linking up, you know what I'm saying? One bitch, two bitch, old bitch, new bitch. I like that. Cause you know, you got the, of course, still Nicki Minaj. They've been beefing forever. Now you got Jake, JT and Akbar don't like her either. And now the big girl, you understand all these, you know, new newcomers is on the Cardi B hate train. I do like this, like I said, I like this enough song. But she's taking shots at Nikki, mainly Bia, a little bit of JT and Art Bar. You understand? So I, I do, but like I say, you know, I, I do like that enough song, by the way. Um, I so here, here it is, Bia. Bia, um, because she was a talk of the town recently, she jumped on Dreezy. Dreezy is another female uh, rap artist. I like her. I think she is very dope. She's a really good lyricist. I don't know why she kind of didn't really blow up in the industry. But she, she, she know how to spit Dreezy. And Dreezy got her own little situation going on with Jack Queez. But we're not we going to talk about it another day. But Dreezy had a um, song that she dropped called Bitch Duh. But she did a remix with a couple of the rap girls. And Bia was on there. Bia is the first um, rap girl that's on the Bitch um, Duh remix to spit her um, verse. Her verse was very, very short. The, her verse on Bitch Duh was very short. Um, let's try to get into what she kind of said about Cardi B. Yeah, I'm about to spin. Wait, yeah, I'm about to spin about a tweet. Big B bodega on my feet. Can't have your nigga. I play for keeps. I hear bitches popping shit. That's so funny to me. How you saying you running down, but you can't walk on the beat. <laughs> How you say you're running down, but you can't walk on the beat? When did Cardi B say she was running down? That was a really good bar. I ain't know I had an op because she don't say shit to me. Okay. I guess she's saying Cardi B don't at her. You know, they keep on throwing subliminals at each other. Um, how you saying you run? Okay. Um, I ain't know I had an op because she don't say shit to me. I'm going to cop me a new gun before I cop me a plea. So now she's saying she's going to get her little Uzi, a little strap. Heard they want my love. I dropped it in Dubai. I can never turn my phone on just to cry on a lot. 
Now, yes, that was definitely directed towards Cardi B because she let her horse ass husband offset take her there. Take her there to the point she went alive and she was ranting, you threatening him and just putting all of your business out there, crying and stuff like that. That was very embarrassing. And you know, Cardi B, you got to eat that L because you put it out here for us viewers, for your ops to kind of use as a, a diss towards you. So, you you know, Cardi B, you got to blame yourself for this, you know, crying on alive. That was a very good bar on B N. Now, like I said, Bia um, verse was very short, very quick on this remix. I wish she would have gave us more. I'm going to be honest, Bia, you a pretty young lady, but you sound very corny. This whole verse, very corny. Like I said, the rhymes was hitting. It was on point. The wordplay was matching, but it just sounds so corny. I, I, I can't get it to the Bia young lady. And I'd hate to be shady. It, it just see it, it sounds like high school rap. This whole little small verse, it just sounds so childish. It really does. I just think, Bia, you need to work a little bit on your um, raps. I, I don't know, baby, you need to spit a little bit harder. Sound like you serious, but it just sounds very childish to me. I know she's an overly grown young woman, but one thing I can say, at least she took shots. At least she took shots back at Cardi B when it came down to her enough. Because that enough song was definitely about um, Bia. Now that I look at the lyrics and I read more into it. But at least she took shots at her back on somebody else's record. But this record seemed like it's one of those shots type of records. I can tell Dreezy is going back at Trolls. And also Jack Queen's Baby Mama. You can tell like a lot of the rap girls are trying to get back bitches that they don't like or ops. But like I said, I really wish, you know, Bia, you would have came a lot more harder. I feel like you could have wrote this little verse a lot better where it was sticky. But it sounds like it's corny. Your verse is definitely a flop when it comes out of Cardi B. I think Cardi B won with her song Enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say Enough is a full diss about B a Bia. And even though Bia jumped on a remix song, but I give her B minus for effort. Because she did, you know what I'm saying, take shots back. And I respect that. Okay? At least she was on a different rap artist record and not the Minaj. Okay? At least she wasn't with the super freaky girl click. It wasn't a gang bang. She was with a totally, a totally different set of girls. So I do respect that when it comes down to Bia. Again, in my opinion, Bia don't consider, I don't consider her a lap dog. She ain't out here barking for a certain individual. Like I said, her beef, as I can see, now I do research, her beef with Cardi B stems from the shady shit that she did. You know, you was, you know, how you say, doing back, back flips, gymnastic, pussy popping for the Minaj, just for a feature. And like I said, from my understanding, Nicki Minaj asked Bia for the feature just to spite Cardi B. And see, this is what I'm saying that this girl, you know, y'all queen, y'all watered down, carbonated queen, you know, will always kind of allude that these girls begging me for features. You know, they're begging me for features. They're yearning, you know, they're desperate. They're crying for features, but she fails to forget that she used these girls for their, I want to say, short term small momentum fame she clout chases off of them if they're streaming you know what i'm saying and, and they're irrelevant and they got buzz this is when she wants to do a feature but the moment they're flatline and they're not doing anything in the music industry and they're not trendy she wants nothing to do with them but then like i said once they go you know end up you know wanting to work with her ops then it's oh you use me you use me you use me for a feature, but you're the one who begged these girls because you're trying to ride the momentum of their wave. Y'all queen. But like I said, I see stuff that people don't see and refuse to call it out. I'm going to call it out. I'm going to keep my foot on the menage neck. Okay? So the bars about bitch fall out. <laughs> Go ahead and fall out. Because I am. I see the under, underlying and underhanded stuff that the menage do and the mind games that she play with the viewers and the people. Okay, but you can't do that old switcheroo on me. Because like I said, I, I'm the kind of person, I catch subliminals, I read between the lines. I see what th I see things people don't see. But anyways, back to the Bia girl. So like I said, I respect Bia for her little shots back at Cardi B. Now, will Cardi B entertain Bia? Yes, yeah, she will. Because the Enough song is definitely about Bia. Um, I guess to Cardi B, Bia is irrelevant. There was once cool. She was supporting her. Even on Cardi B, don't bother Bia, but Bia seems to always come out to Cardi B and don't act Cardi B, but she kind of says that Cardi B steals her style, you know, music video idea, you know, using uh, Missy Elliott, her um, 
one of her songs, the, you know, the, the instrumental to one of her songs. Bia did it first, now Cardi B doing it. So she's kind of alluding to these things but, but without saying Cardi B's name. You understand? So it looks like Bia want to smoke with Cardi B. And I hope that it's for the right reasons. And I hope it's for her trying to clout chase off Cardi B. I hope it's not the Minaj pulling the strings when it come, to, come down to Cardi B. Because I'm starting to kind of feel that way now that I got that. Bia, you kind of did all this intentional for whatever reason. And the fact that you keep coming for Cardi B is kind of giving a little bit of a lapdog side effect. I think you need to, you know, stay away, stay away from the mangy mutts, the fleas over there with the menage. Because like I said, them little ticks and fleas going to jump off of you, Bia. is giving, I want to say, lapdog energy right now with Cardi B. Because it seems like you you trying to get her attention. You keep bugging and you keep acting. Not adding, excuse me, Thomas. Man. You keep making little subliminals, little posts on Twitter, IG, and kind of like indirect towards Cardi B. Not saying her name, but it's like directly towards Cardi B, you know, the wordplay. So it's kind of giving like almost like lap dog energy. It's either you want to smoke Cardi B, call her out, you know what I'm saying, and, and it's on. I like, you know, like all this subliminals going back and forth, this is getting tied and through, especially if you don't want to put an ad on it. But like I said, I feel like, Bia, you need to come hard, a little harder at Cardi B if you want her attention. She's giving you a little bit of her attention, even though she got one bitch, two bitch, three bitch, four bitch on her neck. At least she's giving you a little bit of attention. But like I said, I just feel like people are not going to take you serious, Bia, because I just, your music is not interesting. Your videos give cheap to be vibes, just like JT. You know, you really need to put some... You know, put some money in your, in your music videos. Also, get a better wardrobe that's going to be appealing to the people, to your audience. I'm, I'm being honest here. I'm not being shady and stuff. I, like I said, pretty young lady, but she just not, she don't come up on my timeline. I will probably listen to more of her music if she came up, if she's even do, if she's current right now doing music. All it is giving, like she's trying to clout chase off of Cardi B and she wants her attention for whatever reason. And I can see if Cardi B shaded her. Or, you know, lie to her about a feature, but you turn because of the Minaj. And I don't think the Minaj told you to turn, Bia. You trying to, like I said, you know, you don't align yourself with the Minaj. And you trying to prove a point that, hey, girl, I ride with you, I fuck with you, so I'm going to get at this Bia for you. So it's kind of giving lapdog side effect energy. I don't want to list you as a lapdog, Bia. But if you keep, you know, moving sideways like a lapdog, you know what I'm saying, for the Minaj, I'm going to have to put you in that category with Art Bar and JT, with, with being a lap dog, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this don't make sense to me. What I'm hearing, and please correct me in the comment section, you know, all my opinion vlog gang, you know what I'm saying? If I'm right or wrong, that the Bill girl started all this with Cardi B, or you like, correct me if Cardi B started this with Bill. But the information I got, it seemed like Bill started this with Cardi B. And, you know, ever since she got the feature from um, Nicki Minaj, she's been moving funny. This is what I got from a couple of videos, but please correct me. But I feel like Bia, you know, you lost when it come down to, you know, taking this shot back at Cardi B. You understand? I feel like you should have came a lot harder. Your verse should have been a lot longer. It was very, very short. I listened to it over. I'll say, but I listened to it over and over about five or six times. I felt like you should have went way harder at Cardi B than what you did. You, it was very cute, you know, very light. You know what I'm saying? I, I couldn't even take her verse serious. You crying on live, you, you know, crying on live. Okay. Tell me something, you know, that we don't know about Cardi B. She, okay. We know that, you know, um, Cardi B is very disgruntled when it comes down to her cheating horse ass husband. We know that, you know, she's very kind of insecure when it comes down to offset, even though she know her husband is a whore, but she's still married to her husband. I mean, we know this, this is not new tea that you're clock, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, B minus for B of for effort. That's all I got to say about, you know, Bia responding to um, Cardi B. I think Cardi B definitely going to take more shots. Cardi B, like I said, is not a mega the assault. And this is no diss um, to Cardi B. But you can tell Cardi B, this is all for um, numbers and popularity when she does music. You know, mega the Stallion really go hard. Like, you know, when mega the Stallion, when she's mad and she's trying to get back and throw her little diss and her little shots... Megan goes hard. I don't see Cardi B going hard either. But like I said, that enough song. I love the wordplay. I love the lyrics. Um, the lyrics to that song. I like the beat. You know what I'm saying? Even though she's taking shots 
but it's one of those songs that you can, can still listen to as a regular Cardi B song. It's not explicit, not that much, you know. We're not talking a, a lot about WAP. But anywho, this is all I got to say about the Bia and Cardi B. I, I, like I said, I know Cardi B is going to respond. She's going to respond. Trust me. But all right, I'll catch y'all later.